Hi everybody, and welcome to another week of the Cooking Light Taste Test. I'm Chris. And I'm Jamie. And this week we are trying maple, maple flavored things. <laughs> Yay! Oh god, I'm craving something sweet. This little known fact, I spent about seven years living in Vermont. Mm -hmm. And my favorite food to put in coffee, maple syrup. So you're like Buddy the Elf. Kinda, yeah. In a lot of ways, actually. Well, you know, we elves try to stick to the four main food groups. Candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's try it. All right, let's go. Okay. So this is our base to judge all the other maple flavors. This is pure maple syrup, grade A, from the grocery store. I've never taken a shot of just, maple syrup. You don't right have now. to take a whole shot. We're not, like, doing the... Vinegar. Yeah, no, we just take a little sip of it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Incredibly sweet because it's basically just maple syrup. Oh, it's like sugar. But with like a really mapley vanilla extract flavor. No, it's like good real maple syrup. That's not there's nothing like concocted about that. I'd taste good. vanilla extract. You taste notes of vanilla <laughs> in some real maple syrup. He's gonna tell me what I'm tasting now. I am. It's good though. It's just so sweet. Oh my god. But in coffee, it's so good. It's so good. It's so much better than just like sugar in coffee. All right. All right. Looks like yogurt. I'm going to say yes, maple yogurt. Wow, you can smell it <laughs> from like yes. here. Yes. Hmm. But it doesn't, it doesn't taste like, it tastes like regular yogurt, not like ultra thick yogurt. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wondering if there's anything else with the maple or if it's just maple. It's like super sweet, but not mm. overly sweet or cloying. I could I could put that over granola in the morning and just be happy for like a month straight. Mm -hmm. just it's like kind of nutty. Day. It kind of reminds me of like maple pecan or something mm -hmm. like, like a really delicious pecan pie that was made with maple syrup. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that exists, but it should and that's what this tastes like. Or like, like a little bit of maple syrup over ice cream. Like mm -hmm. It kind of has that like maple and dairy together. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Super yummy. Mm -hmm. How many maple leaves would you give this? I'm gonna give that four maple leaves. It's really good. I hate to start out so high because like, can we go higher? I don't know, but I will give that five maple leaves. Whoa. I know, I've never, I don't believe I've ever done that in the history of taste tests, but I'm right going Right out there. of the gate. I'm going there. All right. Oh. Brown cow. I've never had this type of yogurt before. Brown cow, I really like brown cow. I've actually. never like, had it. They do, a, they're like a local, I feel like they're like a local co-op or something like that. They're Stonyfield Farm, so they're out of New Hampshire, so they know from good maple has six grams of fat, 75 milligrams of sodium. That's hardly anything. It does have three and a half grams of sat fat, which is almost 20% of your DV. A little it's, higher than we like. But it's whole milk. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what you're, that's like par for the course. Um, and then it has 20 grams of carbs. This is, other than the sat fat, this is super, super healthy. To me, it's a little high in sugar. I don't know that I would buy a yogurt that has 19 grams of sugar. Oh, it does. I mean, it is maple and it is whole milk, but I miss that. I just think Lots it's of a little high for my personal taste. Yeah, that's high in sat fat and high in but sugar. It's so good, it's so good. Like honestly, that could be a dessert. Mm -hmm. And I don't say that. I'm not one of those people who will tell you to eat frozen grapes when you're <laughs> when you're craving something sweet. Like this actually probably could be a dessert. These that are is. yeah peanuts with uh, some sort of a uh, sugar on top. Is that like? Curry? Is that maple curry? That's like the least mapley maple thing turmeric. I've ever had. That's turmeric. It's spicy, <laughs> like a little bit spicy. Definitely, there's like some some sort of turmeric. There's some sweet on it, but I'm not getting like a mm -mm. a lot of sweet flavor. I'm actually mostly getting like spice and a little salt. Maybe like curry and turmeric. I don't feel like there's any maple. There's in no there. maple. They're just testing us at this point. It has a really <laughs> slow burn. Like it's starting to like Kinda really hurts, get yeah. me in the back of the throat right now. Like your tongue tingles when you eat mm -hmm. these. This so. is the opposite of maple for me. <laughs> that yogurt was over here and these nuts are like over here. Yeah, especially since I'm like expecting something mapley. I have to give this two maple leaves. I would give this one maple leaf. I don't like them. This just hurts. Like it's not a good spiciness. It's yeah. just like a yeah, it's actually a lot hotter now than when I ate them. 
How many maple leaves did I give that? Two. I'm gonna go down to one and a half. Maple, curried, cashew, and peanuts. I don't know who this, this uh, that's not maple. So it's nuts, roasted nuts, peanuts, cashews, brown sugar, and then maple syrup, coconut oil, curry powder, cayenne. I and, feel that. And then citric acid, and I don't know what mixed tocopherols are, but they're apparently an antioxidant. Apparently they hurt your tongue when you eat them. Nutritionally, one ounce has 160 calories. It's got 13 grams of fat, but only two and a half sat fat, which is still a little high. 140 milligrams of sodium, three grams of sugar. So they're not bad for you. They're not terrible at all. It's, you know, mixed nuts. I think it's getting that sap from, from a little bit of coconut oil that's in there. Yeah. But... Which also tastes kind of unnecessary. I'm not getting any... Coconut flavor? Yeah. There's a lot of things about that flavor that was unnecessary, but... This looks like... Okay, Ooh, so this is another mixed smell nut. smell good. Covered in, in like chunks of... This lo almost looks like candy to me. The and Nutty Bavarian. He's yeah, back. Here. All right. This is definitely a walnut covered in something. Less granola. That is incredibly sweet. It's like an oatmeal raisin cookie. Mm hmm There's yeah. raisins and oats, I think, yeah. in there. Mm. <laughs> There's some like chewy mm -hmm. dried fruit thing. I think it's a raisin. I, I'm kind of stumped because it, it tastes like an oatmeal raisin cookie, but I'm not seeing any oats or raisins. That might be a raisin. Or cookie. Or cookie. All right, Jamie, we're here to rate these for their maple content on a scale of one to five leaves. What, how much maple? I'm torn because if I was just going on flavor, I would give it probably like four or five leaves, but I'm not really getting maple. Mm -mm. Like I would eat these, they're delicious, mm -hmm. but they're not maple-y. I might give it three and a half leaves. Okay. Because it's still really tasty, but it's not super maple-y. I would say that this is definitely more maple-y than the last thing, but it's not uber maple-y. I'm gonna go ahead and give it three maple leaves. Okay. Maple, apple, cinnamon, walnut. Apple, That's it was not raisin, it was apple. That makes sense. Dried apple is in there. Mm-hmm, I can totally taste it now. Okay, so these are from Fresh Market. There's no nutrition, um, but the kind of like top five ingredients are walnut, sugar, dried apples, brown sugar, maple sugar, salt, spices. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say these are probably high in sugar. I will go out on a limb and say that you're probably right. I have no evidence as to how much is in there, but it tastes and sounds like a lot. Yep. But really tasty. Super yummy, it's true. I like these, this little bowl. I feel like these are, okay. I want, I want you to look at the camera. I want you to look close. I feel like these are O's of some sort. <laughs> but they're not Cheerios. But they feel like, I'm gonna say they're a little off-brand Cheerios because like if you've ever seen Cheerios, like somehow they manage to make every single one Perfectly kind of perfect. Round. And there are, there are some like Ursatz Cheerio shapes in here. I'm gonna try them. They taste very Cheerio-y though. This is bringing me straight back to high school, frankly. But like when I was a kid and I ate. They're like Honey Nut Cheerios, but I don't really taste maple. I just taste like Honey Nut. Mm-hmm, they do. They taste just like Honey Nut Cheerios. I mean, if these aren't like crazy high in sugar, I would probably just go buy them. They're so good. What's crazy high in sugar? Per serving, maybe more than like 13 grams of sugar. That's kind of my threshold too. Mm-hmm for yogurt and cereal, things like that. How many maple leaves would you give these? Um, I would give these four leaves. All I right. think they're really good. Um, I'm still not really getting a whole lot of maple though. Mm -mm. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to dock it a maple leaf for that. I, get, I give these three maple leaves. Very tasty. We'll see if they're nutritious, but they're not super maple-y. Agreed. <gasps> they are actual Cheerios. Oh. I've maple. been called. I have never seen these in a store. Maple Cheerios, they're brand new. Flavored mm. with other natural flavors. One and a half grams of fat. They have 125 milligrams of sodium, which is not bad. They have 120 milligrams of potassium, which is actually pretty good. They have nine grams of sugar. 
That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Out of 22 carbs total. The only problem I have with cereal and why I can't personally eat it for breakfast is that like a serving size is three quarters of a cup. So that's like this. Yes. <laughs> like who is going to eat three quarters of a cup of cereal? I don't know. It's a, right. If you're going to pour yourself a bowl of cereal, like, you're going to have wanted, like three. I wanted my bowl to look like this. And the, re the reality is they zoomed in on like this. Mm -hmm. That's their three quarters of a cup. But. And if you make a, a big bowl and you have like actually like a cup and a half. Yeah, then it like triples was, the sugar. Yeah, and then suddenly you've got like 18 grams of sugar <laughs> and it's a whole different ball game. If you can keep to the... Per, like, I can't. I yeah. know that about myself. All but right. they're really tasty. They're a little sticky. sticky. <laughs> it squeaks. This is like when your super healthy hippie mom decides to make her version of Rice Krispie Treats. And it's <laughs> like, I'm going to make this so much better. They taste the same, son. <laughs> but they have chia seeds. Mm hmm And um, pepitos. And instead of using melted marshmallow, she used all natural agave syrup. <laughs> <laughs> really just anything. There's a lot of coconut, which I dig, but I still don't taste any maple syrup. Yeah, I'm not tasting maple. Um, there's more honey than maple in this. I mean, just the st stickiness <laughs> of it. Have <Not> fun. <laughs> ET phone home. There's a, actually kind of an impressive amount of salt. Like, I, I mean, I don't know if it's like high in sodium, but I taste like a good little bit of salt. So this is like kind of adulted up. This actually isn't bad. I no, would... not at all. But not maple -y. Not maple -y, but but kind of tasty. Mm -hmm. In like a, if it was 2.30 in the afternoon, I was craving something kind of sweet to tide me over towards dinner. And I wanted something that was gonna be kind of healthy. I might, I might reach for something like this. Yeah, totally. <gasps> it's store brand. Green Publix, wise. green wise, pumpkin seed and maple, multi-green square. So there's five servings per container. So you get one square, pre-wrapped, good for like lunches, mm -hmm. lunch boxes or snacks. Um, each one has 140 calories, four and a half grams of fat, only one gram of sat fat, 80 milligrams of sodium, which is like nothing, 3% of your DB, 23 grams of carbs, and six grams of sugar, which are all added. That's actually not very high in sugar. No. And you get three grams of protein. Um, a little bit of iron and potassium too, which is nice. That's surprisingly good for you. I know, and really tasty. Yeah. So there's a lot of really impressive things in here, like amaranth and millet and buckwheat. Like you get your whole grains for mm -hmm. sure, um, which is great. And I think these are really tasty. I will say I don't think they're very maple-y though. They're not maple-y at all. They're way more pumpkin seedy and honey. Mm -hmm. than they are maple, which is understandable because maple is actually incredibly expensive. Yeah. Honey is a lot less expensive. Really tasty though. So there's just like a touch and actually it doesn't taste super mapley to me, but it does taste a lot like fall and it is a super good snack. I like this a lot. In fact, it's so good, I would feed this to my kids. And in fact, I have one of my kids with me here. Let's bring her up. Hello. Hi, How are you? <laughs> I want you to try this and tell me if you like it. And if you do, if you would want to take one to lunch. <laughs> oh. Not quite kid approved. Oh, well. I guess it's too adult. If I sneak it into your lunch box, is that okay? No, I just will send it home. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. So well, I liked that quite a bit, but it was a little too high end sat fat for me. So it's definitely felt like kind of a one time treat, like, or every once in a while treat. Mm -hmm. And those are totally healthy, but I wasn't getting the maple. And for the, like this one really tastes like maple to me. That's totally true. So, yes, we can both have our favorites. That's it for another week of Quick and Light Taste Test. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Chris. And I'm Jamie. Guys, if you're watching on Facebook right now, tell us what your favorite maple snack is or which out of these you would try. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. We'll let you know when we have a new episode out. Thanks again. Bye. Bye.